Hi, I'm Chris. We're here at NAM 2015. I'm with Dan from Akai, mm -hmm. who's going to show us a brand new synth, the uh, Tombra Wolf. So um, I'll disappear and hand over to Dan. Hi, everybody. This is the Timberwolf. The Timberwolf is a four voice analog synthesizer. Uh, we've taken the voicing of the Rhythm Wolf and we've copied it four times. And what this does is you have four channels of monophonic bass. Forgive my horrible playing. Uh, with a 32 step sequencer and you can actually select four different sequences. So you can run four 32 step sequencers with fill variation uh, and you have them all run at the same time. Each voice can have its own different tuning too or its own different filter settings, its own different uh, decay settings. Uh, but one of the cooler features is you can actually flip the switch here. So now we're in poly mode where you actually can play. She needs to warm up a little bit to be in tune. Uh, we also have an auto-tune section. Um, so, and what you can do is you can have a different, slightly different filter, and it'll cycle through. Terrible playing, I apologize. You can also play unison mode. All the sequences send MIDI, uh, so you can have four different MIDI, uh, four different channels, four different sequences running at the same time. You can plug in some steps. You can hold down the step button and you can actually tweak the note of each one. So we play. Lot of fun and it also has of course real simulated wood grain sides okay so i'm back with dan uh and i've got a few questions ready um sure no mod wheel uh that is true uh the mod wheel um we really designed this to be essentially for bass synths so for uh you know essentially something like a 303 um and the questions were like okay how would we connect it to the mod wheel how would we connect it to which voice and everything like that so um, yeah, this product has pitch wheel. And I guess, yeah, 303s three don't have mod wheels, so. That is true, yeah. And uh, there's, I mean, let's talk about the ins and outs. There's the multiple outputs. Uh, yeah, it has uh, a one out per voice. It also has a main out, which sums all of the voices together. Uh, if you plug into the voice one to four, um, the main out is, they're defeated in the main outs. Okay. Oh, so you can, so you could have a sum of, of three and four out of the main out and still have, okay. Right. Yeah. And um, let's talk about sequences and, so the sequence will output via MIDI, mm -hmm. and you can have multiple levels of sequence via MIDI, different MIDI channels. Right. So each each of the each of the four channels uh, can have their its own MIDI channel, and uh, you can you know route it however you want. Um, and then you know it sends. Uh, you have uh, four octave range. You can program it with the keyboard. Um, not sure if this one is actually doing it yet, um, but when it actually ships, you'd be able to hold down the button. You can dial it in with this knob here or, oh, it works, hey, neat. Uh, so you can actually program the note with the keys too. So you can actually sit down and hold down, program it. You can turn local off on the keyboard too, and then you can program the sequencer without actually making the sounds. And then when it comes back around, it'll play the play what you just played, okay. which is a lot of fun. And the CV gate, so, I mean, is that output from the sequencer or is it to interface with other devices, I mean? It has a gate trigger in and out, just like the Rhythm Wolf and the Tomcat do. Uh, this will allow you to send out clock from the sequencer or also receive clock from a modular or something like that. Obviously, all being animal themed, these are all meant to get on, despite right. them being different animals. Exactly. Okay. Well, that was nice. I'm going to use that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've cool. been thinking, yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay, well, um, what about my pricing and availability? The, the usual question. Uh, this is uh, 4 dollars US, and this should be available late spring, summertime around there. Uh, you know, this is, we have these set up at the booth right now. Uh, they're warming up, and uh, you guys can come check them out. Cool. Thanks very much, Dan. Thank you.